Hello friends, welcome to Easy Engineering Classes. Uh, we are back in the series of preparation for GATE UGC NET Computer Science related subjects and this series will also help you for preparing of Bank IT Officer exam. So today we are solving two questions on Theory of Computation subject and these questions appeared in GATE 2017 paper. So the first question reads as Consider the language L given by the regular expression A plus B star into uh, followed by B and followed by A plus B over the alphabet A comma B. The smallest number of states needed in the deterministic finite automata accepting L is. So the language or the regular expression that we are provided with is A plus B star followed by a B and followed by A plus B. So if, if I draw an NFA for it in it before drawing a deterministic finite automata, I'll start with an initial state. To show this part, I'll make a loop followed by a single B that is denoted here. Then the second state which is Q1 followed by the last bracket. This denoting the last state and the final state all right so this is an nfa now if i have to convert it into a dfa i have to draw a table in which i write down the state and the transitions for a and b all right so starting with the state q naught i see on a we transfer or we uh, go to q naught only and in case of Q0 and reading B, I go to Q0 and Q1. So the state is Q0, Q1. Now writing this Q0, this is the initial state, Q0, Q1. Now from Q0, Q1, reading A, I will go to Q0 and Q2. And Q0, Q1, reading B, I will go to Q0, Q1 and Q2. Now reading from state q0 q2 since q2 is the final state here q0 q2 will become a final state now from q0 q2 reading a i'll only go to q0 and reading b i'll only go to q0 q1 all right so uh, coming to the next state q0 q1 q2 reading a i would go to q0 q2 and reading b i would go to q0 q1 q2 so these are this will also be a final state these are the four state that would be possible in my deterministic finite automata and the answer for this would be four you don't need to draw and see the deterministic finite automata this is a quick way of getting con uh, converting from the nfa and uh, seeing from the table how many states will be possible so two non final states two final states and a total of four final states four total states in the dfa now coming to the second question we are given a grammar with the productions where s is the start symbol then we have to find out which of the following strings is not generated by g okay so uh, the, if we start with this string a b a b and i start drawing its tree syntax tree or a normal tree for generating this string i start from the start symbol s i go to s s then if i replace it with a s b and again here a s b and if i replace this with epsilon and this with epsilon so i get a b a b all right so this is possible now coming to the second part s from s i go to s a s then from s i expand to s a s a and here a s b here i replace with epsilon here i replace with epsilon so yes sorry not this here i replace with epsilon so i'm getting a a a and b so this string is also possible now coming to the third part if i make here s from s if i derive s and s from s s a s then from the 
second S if I derive B S A from this S again I derive B S A and I replace this S with epsilon this S with epsilon and this S with epsilon so what am I getting A B B a and a all right so this is the th final answer for this because even if you try to make this this won't be possible because as you can see here every time a b is present it will be followed by an a all right or the number of b would have to be equal to the number of a at least so this b can be paired with this a but there is no a corresponding to this mid b Alright, so you can also guess it from this option, but uh, drawing the trees for deriving these strings quickly and uh, making sure of what you are guessing is right or not is a better way. So that is how we uh, computed which of the string is possible and which is not. That's all for today's lecture. Please uh, like this video if you understood both these questions and subscribe to the channel of Easy Engineering Classes for more lectures on GATE and UGC NET computer science related subjects. Thank you for watching. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos.